Hey there, welcome to the last video on this series and the journey to building an app will not finish here um, You have to continue improving your app and there is a lot to talk about um, I will make sure to make more videos on the channel So make sure to subscribe and see more videos on deployment how to promote your app and How to improve your app overall um, a lot more to discuss but yeah, this series is finished here before you heads up and deploy your app to somewhere and publish it to Shopify there are a few important things you have to know and this is a general uh, suggestion but you can make up your own mind because these are very important things you have to know uh, firstly this is the app we have built the pricing planning and everything we did um, the sitting and it doesn't end here especially if I go to the home page um, let's see currently we don't have a wish list and when someone add the wish list they appear here but they don't look nice okay you have to show them a nice vis visualization of the products instead of displaying something like this which I have here you could show a graph or a chart I will make a video about charting in the future um, which is separate uh, how do you display data in chart with Polaris uh, but yeah the the more beautiful your app dashboard is the better it is for you and it will give better user experience so make sure to work on that more and the best place is to check the suggestion that Shopify provide in the Shopify Polaris documentation for example in here if you go to the pro design language there are many examples not only how you display the products here and if you go to the colors and how do you display the colors if you go check the pricing our pricing is very simple and standard but you can improve the pricing page to make it more appealing like why user will pick this um, planning and probably like uh, some other things I have already did some minor suggestion behind the scene but you can check the code on github um, so you get the idea of how you get the how you improve your app and how you will display nice design if you don't have the idea just check some of the design examples that Shopify provide here go to the component combine them together see some other apps see their feature image you like them and then you will go and design your own next thing is always check the documentation there is a lot of updates coming uh, last week was not too, like a few days ago was the Shopify edition 2024 a lot of new things came up uh, in the Shopify app ecosystem and to get yourself updated you have to always check the documentation especially the new way of deploying your, your app when I started recording this video series now like three weeks ago none of those things exist now there is a new way of deploying your app I will make video about that but for now the best place is to check the documentation change, check the change, change log and also uh, be part of the Shopify developer community in Slack channel uh, that's the best place to check uh, all the new updates best practice this is some something that you will uh, have to look um, when you build your app accessibility performance I'll talk more about the performance in a few minutes but this is the best place to check out the uh, best practice of your app and there is also an app design guideline I hope this is what they say this is a must read before you publish your app you have to read this because it tells you like everything you have to know about the Polaris component how you place things together and how you design your navigation to make sure your app is uh, having the best structure like the design guide on the app structure layout and visual design this is I think the best place especially like if you come here and say how do you want to display the icon how the icon should be and how the different size for the icon is specification a lot of things that you have to learn in this um, category app performance this is the same thing very general not only to the remix but any other app that you built Shopify will tell you what to do what not to do um, yeah this is what we talked about now once your app is ready uh, you will go to the app this is where you will go for production and submit it I will go through this a few steps and show you how everything works uh, but this is what you do you go to distribution and in here you will create a listing listing could be diff in different languages so we will go for the um, English one by default but a lot of apps have different languages so here is the thing and Shopify will have zero revenue sharing 
if you are earning below 1 million I think I talked about, about this before I make these videos for under 1 million you get 100% of the revenue and also when you start uh, registering your app here there is a one-time charge of $19 it used to be $99 and they just brought it down to $19 I think that's so good like in the beginning of this video series it was $99 Nineteen dollars is not a lot, and that's a good thing that Shopify did. Yeah, they make a lot of things easy for developers to get a start and build here. Um, when I started, there is no registration fee. Okay, that's something that you have to know. But it's still, nineteen dollars is not a lot. If you're really serious about your app, you will spend this much. So yeah, that is the thing. And from here, you will just um, talk, tell tell them about your business next step is where you will design the listing the most important part is selecting the right icon for your app the right description and you can use ai chat gpt everything to write the best description for your app but make sure they are compliant with what your app is doing if my app is a wish list uh, and i promise user to have a wish list i am not going to claim that okay it is going to boost your conversion it will but it is not going to work the way that you want the wish list is something that a lot of people want to have uh, for the customer and it will uh, be easy for the customers to convert but there is a lot of things that you have to add in the in the app to make it uh, convert more okay so yeah that is the thing you have to know the other thing is the feature image that you have to design them in the nicest way possible let me show you what i mean if i go to the apps.shopify.com you see a lot of them let's go to one of them uh, I don't have any preference let's go to attentive which is very popular um, it is free to install with additional cost now you see this is the feature image you can add a video and this is how they design their feature image you have your the feature image should speak what your app is doing okay you cannot just add a lot of text a lot of um, descriptions here make sure to design it in a way that user get okay what exactly your app is doing for example if i search for accessibility um, and it should show my app this is the accessibility app that we have uh, if i come to the app this is what my app doing okay these are all the setting and this is what you will get in one word this is what it speaks okay like uh, these are the settings these are the options available and how do you configure them in your website this is how it will look like you can change the color customize anything um, again another image I think I duplicated this one another one is how the dashboard will look like live preview you can check it and now the other settings if you have more flexibility like more settings but this is a basic app I also have another app if I go to code inspire survey not this one check out personalization we are bringing a lot of new of this i'm not promoting but you get the idea of how you will um, write everything for your feature image for example these are the things that my app will do it is going to add all this feature to your website like custom banner custom ba trust badges and this is the dashboard and how it look it has changed a lot since we published the app we are going to probably update this soon but yeah this is uh, the best thing is like when someone look at the product the app listing they have to know like what exactly your app is doing and make sure you have a clear description for the app and that is how uh, you get the install okay this is the the, the install button is so big but if your app cannot convince user to install it is probably the feature image the description they are not properly um, designed so that's very important to note if you are uh, building the app um, other than that pricing everything will be handled by Shopify if I go back to my app let me go back a, little, a few steps I'm not going to pay $19 now but again if you go to the app this is where you will see other stuff um, go to the end site uh, this is where you will check the health of your app if the web hooks are not delivering functions or not running You will see the failed percentage here since we don't have a function or web hook set up yet Everything is looking good the performance here and also the uh, The history of your app who installed it and which plan they have picked if they cancel or not all the history will be 
here and you will also see this in overview once your app gets some install you go li goes live you will see all the dashboards here but the best place is to check the monitor and also insights to get everything uh, about the Shopify reports yeah that's it for this video series I hope it has been informative and I hope you learn something and please don't forget to subscribe to get um, notified when I upload more videos and also you can follow me on Twitter if you would like because that is where I normally update new things if I am working on a new thing I will just update you there yeah that's a great place to connect and yeah thank you for watching this series and I will see you in the next videos